there's someone out there. Hey! No one knows his name. No one knows his face. Oh, no. But now, the most terrifying man in the city carries a badge. Edward, unstable and it was a deceleration injury. As in your old hanging. You really think a cop did this? Why not? What's up? Today on Nostalgia 100, we're talking about the great 80s slasher film, Maniac Cop. It's a little lesser known than a lot of the bigger mainstream ones, but it's it's fun. It's a Bruce Campbell film. So if you're a big fan of Evil Dead or Burn Notice or My Name is Bruce, which is one of my favorite movies. I met him once, Bruce Campbell. And I told him I love that movie. And his response was, yeah, it's a, it's a weird one, isn't it? It's like, come on. It's, I don't know. I think it's one of the greatest movies, but I didn't get the impression he was overly fond of it. But um, anyways, Maniac Cop. It's about a cop who's a maniac, which, come on. Um, anyway, so there's a, there's a string of murders being committed by a person who's dressed like a cop. And so Bruce Campbell's character gets uh, blamed. He's playing a cop as well. He gets blamed for the murders. And so the police arrest him, and they're trying to hunt him down. And he's trying to break away and prove he's innocent. And the real killer turns out to be like this zombified cop who was wrongfully arrested for a crime he didn't commit. And he's trying to bring down all the people who set him up. So it's not only a fun slasher movie, but it also has social commentary on it, which I think is fun, and not enough horror movies do. Now, it's not just a one-hit, one-hit wonder. There's a sequel, there's two actually. There's a Maniac Cop, blah, 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 blah. there's a Maniac Cop 2 and a Maniac Cop 3. They're not as good as the first one, but they're still enjoyable. And they're currently working on a TV show, which I am beyond excited about. So you should definitely check it out. It's well worth your time. Plus, anything with Bruce Campbell in it is well worth your time. But uh, until next time, this is Nostalgia 100. I'm your host, Jonathan. Give us legends.